Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second or third and final video, depending on whether you're a channel member or not. So this is your 10 to 14 day, we're going to have a look at weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. So day 10 will take us to the 5th of August and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have said GFS and ECM ensembles, maybe on to around a couple of weeks. And we're going to have a look at CFSB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video. And I should get over that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've also released uh, a channel member update, which is the ECM at WF42 day out for UK and ID exclusively for our lovely channel members. And uh, the second autumn 2025 season one roundup has been released today as well. So, busy day, guys. Whatever it is, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. As you can hear, I'm still down with uh, the lurky a little bit, so I should be coughing my way through this one. But uh, uh, I'll get through it as quickly as I can. Okay, you're going to start off with the latest Winfro map from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing we've got low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic along with a westerly flow. High pressure is down to the south. <coughs> So, sorry, everyone, there's a little trough of low coming across England and Wales. But behind that, we should start to get a little bit of ridging developing through the early part of next week. Central England temperature is sitting at 18.6, uh, that's 2.6 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. That's provisional to the 24th of uh, July. So with one week left, is that going to hold into the 18th? I think we might just about do this, uh, actually. Be interested to see where we are by months. Um, these are the GFS upper air temperature interpretation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we're in London today. The red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off around to slightly below average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to start ticking up a little bit into the early part of next week. Then we're going to fall away uh, again. But I don't think there's enough there from like now through to the 1st of August that window uh, just there I guess I don't think there's enough there to pull us under 18 degrees so I think we, can, we will probably stick it around sort of low 18s 18.2 18.3 maybe something like that so it'd be interesting to see now into August though from the first week to the second week then we find a lot of scatter so the uncertainty for August goes on or early August got some very hot on some members up here you can't discount the cooler on some members down there either Precipitation-wise, it's a little bit showery through the remainder of July, just into the start of uh, August. But uh, I think there is a drying trend here opening up through the first week and into the second week of uh, August. So my guess would be that things will be turning drier, hotter, uh, or drier, warmer, and maybe hotter through the first week, 10 days of August. As I say it will be very interesting what transpires. Temperature anomaly is for the next uh, seven days to the 31st of July, very close to average, not a particularly big deviation. Six to 10 day, also very close to average, 10 to 14 day. Goes a bit above average down in the south. Precipitation, and uh, that's a five day uh, precipitation anomaly, so uh, to start off with. Uh, five, let's do that again. That's a five day temperature anomaly, but we started off with. Uh, precipitation only for the next seven days is coming out drier than average, especially so <coughs> for many central, northern, and western regions. 10 to 16 day. Uh, substantially drier than normal, so we're definitely a drying trend here. Okay, let's start going. The chart data then is our latest UK mate. You're around. It's looking big night on Tuesday. High pressure to the southwest, low pressure to the northwest, bringing in a westerly flow. Through next week, you find high pressure sticking out to west of the UK and Ireland. Winds remaining from that northwesterly direction. So a little bit cooler, and there could be some showers in the mix out of the start of August. Icon. Again, has that high pressure pulled away from us? <coughs> Through uh, the course of next week into next weekend, the high pressure rain starts reaching our way. Is that the sign for the signs that we're going to build uh, the Azores high back in again through the first week of, set of, uh, of August there? September on my mic because I've been recording autumn updates at 3 o'clock in the morning today. Um, right, okay, it sounds a bit crazy, but I couldn't sleep last night due to the lurky. Um, right, okay, let's have a look at the KMA then. So, uh, again, but yeah, I'm recording videos at 3 o'clock in the morning. What other YouTuber does that? 
I mean, come on, what up YouTube is going to be recording their content at 3 o'clock in the morning? Nobody does it. Like, um, well, I've got my second job, and I keep saying, guys, well, this does remain the focus for me. Even if I've got a big recording videos at 3, 3.30 in the morning, um, you know, guys, well, it's, it's the constant. It's mine. It's what I've created. It's what I've built up. It's the only thing in my life I've ever been successful at. And, you know, it, uh, it's, it's going to it's gonna continue, even if I've got to be recording at 3 in the morning, like I was this morning. Um, right, anyway, off on a tangent. So sorry about that. High pressure southwest, low pressure northwest. As we're going through the course of um, the second half next week. Beyond that, high pressure choice of regime from off the Atlantic, being increasingly dry and warm weather there from the first week towards the second week of August. That gets the 7th of August. Right, okay, we've got the GFS Midnight Run, again, bringing in those showering, quite cool, <coughs> oh, sorry, even those showering, quite cool, northwesterly winds, until a high pressure builds in around days 8, 9, and 10, that's a drying and warming trend through the first week into the second week of August, um, into the second week of month, uh, GFS Midnight Run then pulls high pressure out into the Atlantic and starts to drop in, it's northwesterly, tight flow, so becoming cooler and more showery again. For the Azores, I again has a go at building back in from the west and uh, from the southwest. And this our GFS sits there, looking in comparison almost for virtually this next week. There will be some cooler, more showery interludes through the course of next week, heading up towards the first week to the second week of August. Then the high pressure strengthens from the Azores, builds a nice ridge in, and the trend from the first week to the second week of August is an increasingly dry warm and potentially hot one that gets us to the 11th of August with high pressure right on top of the country summit is back in business big time there with the GFS 680. If that comes off, this turns into a classic hot summer. So uh, it's all dependent on August, I think, really. We've had like we had like a, a prolonged dry hot spell through June, lasted into the first half of July as well. Second half of July has had a wobble. If we bring the high pressure back, if we hook up uh, another spell of hot and dry weather, as a GFS said that is doing there, then this becomes uh, a classic and very memorable summer. So it's going to be really interesting to see what transpires over the next couple of weeks. Let me know in the comments what you think. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos content etc etc don't forget to tell friends about girls web is and get them to subscribe to thank you so much everyone uh for doing that right gm with high pressure to the west and to the southwest through the early to middle part of next week we keep a high pressure just out to the west into the second half of next week winds coming in the northwesterly direction heading up toward days eight nine ten high pressure continues just out to the west so uh, never really building that high pressure in up to day 10 which is the 5th of august we keep wind in from the west northwest direction will be very pleasant for the south and the west to say the least a little bit on the shadowy side up in the north very east and rounds it all up with uh, a drop bringing some cooler and more showery weather through the second half of next week. High pressure then out to the west. Winds continue from that westerly direction to about day 10. Beyond that, we have the high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north scenario. Winds continue from that westerly direction. Main drive warming the south. Could be a little bit on the showery side. Up in the north, the east end, also to the 10th of August, not building back that high pressure with a huge amount of conviction. So a lot of uncertainty, a lot of uncertainty through the early part of or the first half of August, I would say a bit more output today. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetan.com up to day 10. So there will be showery conditions to come over the next few days, turning quite wet in central northern and western regions through the second half of next week. Into next weekend, the showers slipping southwards across England and Wales. Uh, I'm going to keep the showery conditions heading on 
in towards day 10 as well. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10. For the Icelandic Met Office, it gets us to the 5th of August. 31 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure just to our west, low pressure to our east. The winds coming in from the westerly direction and 20 with high pressure right over the top of the country, mostly dry and warm. That scenario, the first scenario, a little bit of a cooler and more showery side in two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. Gets it to the 10th of August. 16 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure right in over the country. 12 with high pressure to our west and southwest. Low pressure to our north and northeast. Winds coming in the westerly direction. Uh, another 12 with low pressure to the east. High pressure out to the west. Winds coming in from the northwest. And then we've got 11 with high pressure right over the top of the country. So it's a mix, isn't it? But I suppose if you put 16 with the 11, uh, that probably gets us to 27. Now that's a majority. Uh, that would be similar to like what the GFS, <coughs> what the GFS 6 Z is uh, doing. Um, but then, of course, we've got 12 and 12 to 24, which is rather more showery and cooler. So it really is very uncertain what's happening as we go from first week into the second week of August. We'll keep you updated. It'll be exciting to see what transpires. CFS B25 means a 500 millibar. Height is to break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 26th of July to 1st of August. High pressure out to the west in the weekend. And winds coming in from a west or a northwesterly direction. Week two will be the second to the eighth of August. High pressure just to the west of the UK and Ireland. Winds again coming in from off the Atlantic. A little bit like that. It should be very warm, uh, but probably not that hot. But uh, week three will be the ninth to fifteenth of August. High pressure then. Um, Ridging in from the Atlantic, so that could be drier and hotter with winds coming in from more of an easterly direction, especially so. So, week four looks hot as well. This is the 16th to 22nd of August. Yes, we've got northern blocking, but the ridge is extending down through the west of Europe and with low pressure in the Atlantic. That should be drawing up like a southerly flow. So, I won't be at all surprised if that's bring up hot air from the south and. Um, yeah, you know, this could turn into a hot August. And if it does so, as I say, this will turn into a long, hot, classic, memorable summer. So, despite the late July wobble. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Content. Don't forget to tell your friends about guys. Let's get them. Subscribe to you. Thanks so much, everyone for doing that. So tomorrow we're going to have 6M UK weather forecast. We're going to have the 6th autumn uh, update. Uh, and uh, also we've got Gazzo and Sunny Roundup coming up tomorrow as well. Whether I can do a 10 to yet, I'm not sure. i am got a hospital appointment I've got to go to tomorrow. Nothing serious, but I'd like a follow-up appointment from uh, the mouth cancer I had three years ago. And uh, it's the latest follow-up, basically. You don't miss your follow-ups, of course, when you've had cancer. So I've got to go to that. I can't cancel it. Then I've got um, taking a job in the afternoon. So I may not be able to get 10 to 14 day um, tomorrow. If I can't, then, of course, uh, we'll uh, do that on Monday. But still plenty of content to come tomorrow regardless. Okay, well, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.